Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look, as you can see, is, is this everyday makeup, everyday slay, whatever you like to call it. Like honestly, this is really basic look and I think you know, we all saw a lot of tutorials about this kind of look, but like I'm getting a lot of questions daily on my Instagram about like, how do you do this makeup? It's so good, blah, blah, blah. First of all, thank you so much. I actually asked my Instagram family to um, tell me what should I do next? Should I do some colorful, co <laughs> colorful smoky eye or everyday makeup? And yeah, and of course they were all about the everyday makeup, natural kind of makeup. And I told myself, why not? I'm gonna film it today. So if you're interested about this look, if you wanna see how I achieved it, just stay here and keep on watching. I had to put on my hair band because I just blow dried my hair. You don't wanna see that. I'm gonna start off with Bixi Glow Tonic. This is my second bottle already. And it's so amazing. I just love how it makes my skin. I'm taking the cotton pad and just applying a few drops like this. And I'm just gonna just go over like my T-zone and on the rest of my face. Next I'm gonna be taking this Aphrodita or Aphrodita um, Hydro Boost Serum. It's basically a serum for tired and dehydrated skin. So this much. Like that. <laughs> I'm just gonna tap into my skin like this now I'm gonna prime my face and I'm gonna be using the NYX total control primer I just love this like product with the pump because you can literally just do this and just spread it with your hands like this it's not too watery so it's good. Now we can switch to makeup and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. And the shade is Nude Beige. I'm taking the Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna blend. Today I'm going to be using the Age Rewind from Maybelline. This is like so old school, but it's gold. This one is in shade light. Like that. And I'm also applying a little bit of that concealer on top of my eye, like this. Um, because that's gonna act like a great base for foundation uh, for the eyeshadow and yeah I always do that so recently I've been using this NYX um, HD finishing powder in shade banana I basically take my used um, beauty blender I just dip and roll like this I just set my concealer by pressing the sponge onto my skin Now I'm using my NYX No Filter Powder in shade uh, Honey Beige. Just setting all the way around where I haven't concealed so that my entire face is matte. Now I'm going to contour my nose and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Contour Kit. And this is the shade I'm going to be using. The brush I'm actually using for my nose contour is from BH Cosmetics. It doesn't have um, it doesn't have a name or number or whatever, but it's thin and yeah, see I think I mastered the nose contour because my nose is so like wide here I went out with my friend the other day and he asked me did you did you have a nose job and I was like I probably learned how to contour my nose since I saw him it passed like a year since we haven't seen each other so he was like okay and what I also like to do is with the tip of the brush I like to go here I just make a line here 
and it's gonna look harsh I know it looks really this but trust me it's not gonna look bad after and I'm gonna be using this color here it's the lightest shade they have in the palette and I'm gonna go in the middle just fold the line all the way up trust me when I do this every day it's not like this slow I basically go you know and um, I really don't need a lot of time going back to this uh, fluffy brush from NYX and I'm just gonna blend all together see when they're not so visible Ta -da! yeah you have thinner nose in like less than a minute to maybe three when you start doing this on a daily it just goes so fast that now I'm taking my hula bronzer from benefit and I'm gonna bronze my face I'm gonna be taking this iconic London super fancy brush really light strokes just apply some color to give yourself more dimension and just more life some people may ask like, oh my god, are you doing this every single day? Well, um, basically, I usually walk around makeup free and I'm totally not one of those people who cannot live without makeup. I mean, <laughs> I cannot live without makeup because this is my job, but um, if you ask me, obviously I like makeup more than anything. Um, but sometimes, you know, you're just not in the mood for doing your makeup because you're doing so much on a daily basis that you just want to rest and i mean rest your skin i recently got this sleek blush this one is in shade rose gold like this blush is literally life it's so pretty when you apply it on the skin and i'm gonna use uh nyx this big fluffy brush it's like so cool Okay, girl. So guys, I'm literally obsessed with this Slay All Day Coconut Setting Spray from Dark Cosmetics. It's so freaking good. It smells like real coconut. Like, mm. I'm gonna put my hair in a pony. Wait. Oh my gosh, so much better. I'm just gonna apply a good amount of this product because I recently started doing this. Basically, what I do that I literally bat my face in a setting spray. I'm gonna show you. You think I'm crazy, I know, but... So now, as you can tell, my face is almost completely, like, wet. Can you see? And I'm just taking some paper. I'm just gonna go like this until it's completely dry. And now, when it's still a little bit damp here, I'm gonna apply my... Yeah. Highlighter and obviously that's my Sephora highlighter in shade Delica glow. So yeah, I have to use it today as well First I'm starting to tap Like that because it's still damp. You don't want to start immediately by pulling the line And now you can go like this and blend This is This highlighter is everything And I'm also going to apply it all over my lid, like that. And I also like to apply my highlighter here, basically wherever sun naturally hits your face. I'm going to apply it above my lip, my chin, the middle of my nose. We're gonna use the Naked Heat palette today. The first shade I'm gonna be using is this one called Sauced. So basically, like always, I'm starting from um, my crease, like a transition. I always start with that kind of shades first. If you watch my tutorials, you know what I mean. And same on the other side. And the brush I'm using is MAC 217, I guess, because it's, you cannot even see, it's erased. And then I'm using the Medium Sweeper brush from Sigma, and I'm gonna apply the same shade onto my bottom lash line immediately. 
And you know what? Um, there's a thing I like to do as well. If if I'm not in the mood for playing with some eyeshadow, I would also use Hoola or whatever um, highlight oh, highlighter bronzer I have with me, and I would do you know the eyes with the bronzer, and it would do the same job. So yeah, if you don't have palettes like this, just take your bronzer and just do the same. It's gonna look the same. So yeah, that's just a tip. But today I want it to be a little bit more fancy and add and actually play with this. Now I'm taking this one called Low Blow. I'm just gonna contour my eye a little bit. Just put it in the crease. This shade is perfect for, for the crease. Like that. You can tell the difference. It's not like too dark, but um, enough to like contour your eye. Especially for the people like me who are not blessed with big eyes. This way you're gonna create like you're gonna create them looking bigger. I'm not applying it into my lid. I'm just going I'm just going above like this, see? And that's how you contour the eye. Okay guys. Now I'm taking the chaser shade from here. This is a matte eyeshadow, so it's gonna work perfectly as an everyday um, color. Okay. I mean, you can also apply some highlighter on top, but today I'm gonna go all matte. I'm going over with this brush and just blend more if you need to. That would be it, guys. I've been a little bit like fancier but using the naked palette but honestly guys you can use whatever you have it's gonna look really good so um, I think I'm gonna go with the Rio from Lily Lashes this is how they look like not so dramatic more on a natural side and yeah they're gonna be perfect I'm just gonna look down and it's always starting from the middle like this no I think I'm done see it looks so freaking natural almost like they're my lashes so I'm gonna apply the other one and I'm gonna be back I'm gonna do my lips so uh, I'm starting off oh my god I need to use my I'm gonna be using the lip liner from dark cosmetics in shade sugar and spice I'm just gonna line my lips So lately, people have been asking about my lipstick that I actually wore in my vlog from Paris. It's this lipstick called Trendsetter by Huda Beauty. I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek shade do -Si do uh, which is a really light um, nude, nude shade, and I'm gonna apply it into the middle of my lips, like here. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Paradise Ecstatic Mascara by L'Oreal. And I'm just going to apply it onto my upper lashes. I'm not going to apply it onto my bottom lashes because I'm just... This kind of month where I haven't been wearing a lot of, you know, bottom thing. So I'm just blending my, my lashes and falsies together. Like so. I'm going to be using the Pretty Vulgar Eyebrow Pencil. Um, it's called eloquently educated I'm just gonna do my eyebrows real quick like always it's almost like I'm brushing them like this since they're not perfect not at all um, I like them this way so I'm just gonna fill them in like always basically I'm so sorry if I do this really fast but it's just I really don't know how to do it like slow I just go like that and people always ask me oh my god what are you doing like what did you do with your eyebrows and I'm like I don't know I just fill them in and and literally just brush them like this I'm going back to this coconut setting spray I'm just 
I'm gonna spray it a little bit more and um, we're done so yes guys this concludes my everyday slay makeup tutorial I really hope you liked it so if you did of course give me your thumbs up and subscribe if you already haven't and yeah see you in my next tutorial